there are a number of organs in addition to the peripheral nerves that are affected in patients with diabetes and elevated glucose levels. The eye can be affected. Patients can have trouble um, seeing in a, in a darkly lit room. The digestive tract, all the way from the esophagus to the rectum, can be impaired. Uh, the heart is a very important organ that can be affected by uh, diabetic neuropathy. In addition, um, the bladder, patients can have difficulty emptying their bladder fully. That puts them at risk for uh, urinary tract infections or infections of the bladder. And also, patients may become incontinent or unable to control uh, their urination. Um, the sex organs are affected in both men and women with diabetes. We'll talk about that in a little greater detail. And also the skin, particularly the skin of the feet, where patients develop a neuropathy that leads to inability to sweat. And sweating is very important to preserve skin integrity or skin texture. And in diabetic patients that have neuropathy affecting the skin, um, their feet become very dry and cracked, and that can predispose them to ulcers or infections of the skin. The digestive tract um, is affected in individuals with elevated glucose levels. The symptoms can include difficulty swallowing because of effects on the esophagus. The stomach can be affected and patients may present with complaints of bloating after eating, nausea, and even vomiting. Um, those individuals tend to lose weight because they feel full after eating relatively small amounts. So weight loss can occur. And then the lower GI tract or lower digestive tract, the colon can be affected and patients may have either diarrhea or constipation or have both that kind of um, uh, go back and forth. They may have episodes of constipation alternating with periods of very loose stools. And then there can be actual incontinence where patients lose the ability to control um, passing bowel movements because of neuropathy affecting the rectum.